My head's nil in the 2012 USL Pro Championship game. Mack, the man who scored the game-winning goal in the penalty shootout last weekend in Rochester. Going to make a cameo appearance here at the end as the battery try to whittle away these last few minutes. And they have a throw in deep in their own half on the left side. In front of in front of the regiment, the supporters section over there. Up the line it goes. Tried to flick on, but he can't get a flick, and the hammerheads get possession with Nicholson. Sends it to Musa. Musa looking upfield, looking for an option. Can't find one. Sends it to Lasseter. Switch, switches it across to Cole, sends it back to Evans, who looked to send it long, but he sends it to Cole instead. Shuffled down the line to Bryce Taylor, who shuffles it up, and it's pinged into the penalty area. Perry almost gets a touch on it. It comes to almost to Budney, and now it looked like Taylor tried to swing that in left-footed, and Musa couldn't quite keep it in play. It's going to be a throw-in though, not a goal kick. A little bit of desperation here from the Hammerheads, and maybe a little bit getting in each other's way at this couple of moments there as they push for this equaliser. Long throw in down the line, over Patterson's head, over Nicholson's head, and out off JC Mack for a throw in for the Hammerheads. Mack looks at the linesman unimpressed, thought it came off a hammerhead. As Wilmington tries to build again, trailing 1 0 to the Charleston battery here. Two minutes to go in plus stoppage time as Budney tries to flick one down the flank. It's poorly, poorly played though. And out for a throw in for the battery. Yeah, at this, at this point, I think Wilmington is going to put two of their big men on the back four of uh, Charleston and try to find them. You know, get the ball wide and then not get it into the box is not going to get them where they need to go right now. Red linesman said that stayed in play. Prince trying to win the header. Try to push it forward for Mack, but the, bash, but the Hammerheads are able to control it and flick it wide here for Evans is Horvath. He sends it long, looking for a flick on. It goes over Herzog's head, but he might be able to win the second ball. Good header away, though, by Kyle Hoff. It goes out of play, and this could give Herzog a chance to sling it long into the penalty area. Just over a minute to go. Hammerheads looking for an equalizer. They take the throw in short. Musa, plenty of space, clips it into the penalty area. Good header by Sanyang, and the battery are able to clear again. Sanyang has been absolutely monumental on a lot of these set pieces, a lot of the crosses into the penalty area. Musa will take a chance from outside, blocks away, and Prince will turn. Herzog retreating to try and, try and press him, try and win possession back. Prince sends it into the stand, and the Hammerheads will have a throw in about 20 yards inside their own half. As we approach 30 seconds, Looks like the fourth official is about to give us how much stoppage time we'll have as the Hammerheads again send it long, making the battery again send it long, making the Hammerheads go the full length of the field. Is that basically what it's going to be for the battery for these last, last for these minutes of stoppage time? Yeah, let's get numbers behind the ball. I agree with you. Sang Yang's had a fantastic, I think he's probably my man of the match tonight. He's put his body where it needed to be tonight, and then when he He's had his foot on the ball. He's always looked very composed and calm. We'll have four minutes of stoppage time. As good interception again there by the battery, by Mueller. Sends it up the flank. Prince wins a free kick. Hammerhead's bench unimpressed. Yeah, I don't think that was a free kick. That was a fair uh, shoulder there. But it'll give the battery a chance to kill some more time. Into stoppage time. Four minutes added on as the battery lead 1-0 here at the 2012 USL Pro Championship game. Taylor Mueller taking as much time as he possibly can. The referee beckons him to take to move on. Sends it long, looking for Mack. Flicked header by Lasseter will go to Horwath and he'll have a chance to send it upfield. Desperation time now for the Hammerheads as they send it out wide to Musa. Plenty of space in front of him as Prince comes up to challenge. Plays it to Herzog. Pretty quiet game for Corey Herzog, if we're honest. But there's still time for him to redeem himself as the ball goes long towards Perry. Good header by the battery and again by Sanyang. Wins the possession again with his long legs. Challenges Nicholson and gets the ball back for the battery. 
Exceptional stuff from the midfielder. And now a chance for Max to break down the right. Got a little bit of support. Prince trying to make an overlap. Mack went down too easily there, says the referee. And the Hammerheads will try to get the ball forward again. Poor first touch there by Taylor, though. And the battery will break forward. Good challenge by the Hammerheads. And they will send it long. Looking for Herzog. Can't get a header on it. Koffer can. And sends it to Azira. Azira to Prince. Prince wide. Max got some space here. And only a man to beat. It's Lassiter. Cuts inside. Takes him on the outside. Fires a shot and it's wide of the left post. And out for a goal kick. That would certainly have clinched the championship for the, for the battery had that one gone in. Excellent piece of skill by Max to beat Lassiter in the box there. Yeah, very positive play. Donatelli was screaming him after the shot, though. I think he did the right thing, though. He's created some space for himself and had a, cross, a shot across the goal. Hammerhead still down by a goal, looking for that equaliser in stoppage time here. Taylor on the right, sends it in. Good claim by Dykstra, eight yards from his own goal. And he'll, he'll try to take as much time as he can here. Slings it up. This JC Mack has got a little bit of space, a little bit of pressure here from Tyler Lassiter. And Mack holds it up, sends it back, and that's a very badly sliced clearance by Zach Prince, unfortunately, for the battery. And the Hammerheads will have a throw into Herzog. Herzog looking to try and find space down this left side. It's knocked out of play by Azira, but it'll, it might give Herzog a chance to send a long throw in. Evans coming up from the back. Perry at the near post. Two big targets to aim for. Bryce Taylor coming in, just looking in an area where you'd expect him to try and find a flick on. Even Musa in. Almost everybody saved two Hammerheads players in the penal battery's penalty area. Guzman heads it up. Budney tries to flick it back in. Scramble in the box. Nicholson finds it, but he can't find his teammate. And Wilson sends it long and out of play. And it'll be a throw-in. Guzman hustling over to take it. Sends it short to Troy Cole. Back to Guzman. Guzman, you would expect, will send it long, and he does. Into the penalty area. Perry's there. Goes up, and Dijkstra claims it over the top of Corey Herzog, it looked like there. Rolls it out, and the counter-attack's on for Nicky Patterson. And the counter-attack won't matter, because the Charleston Battery have claimed their fourth championship in USL history. They celebrate their 20th anniversary with a title, thanks to... Mike Azir has 75.